Hi right, everybody, I'm making this tutorial to help you uh, get your child to log in through Seesaw so they can show off their work. Estoy haciendo este tutorial para que su hijo o hija ingrese a Seesaw. Les voy a mandar una copia de esto de su hijo, lo que tiene las instrucciones para ingresar. It has instructions for you to enter Seesaw. If you have two devices, all you have to do is put up the QR code to your second device where your kid will be working and they will be able to go into Seesaw that way. Si tiene dos dispositivos, va a poder usar para nomás escanear um, en su segundo dispositivo y su niño va a poder ingresar. Uh, de otra manera, puede nomás agarrar aquí las letras All right, so then um, you'll get to this screen to see. So you gotta set a key and then a portada. Click on the student. You're gonna click the code and press go. So now that you're here, you're gonna see the there are three options for the student to click on his journal. In this case, Leo Carpio does not have any work yet. Um, the activities is what I'll be posting um, the activities for for the day for the week um, and then messages you can they can see what the messages I've been sending out to to the class um, so tienen su cuaderno ahorita Leo no ha puesto nada las actividades es donde voy a poner las actividades del día matemáticas, lecturas, lo que sea y mensajes que he mandado a la clase aquí entonces vamos a las actividades Aquí um, hay muchas instrucciones, pero si puede ver abajo está un botón. Ahí puede tocar play para escuchar las instrucciones. So, there's a lot of text, but you'll be able to uh, press play to listen create to the instructions. Create a handshake with a family member. Number one, pick a family member to create a handshake with. Number two, start simple by holding hands. Number three, take turns adding movements to the handshake. For example, you may squeeze your family member's hands two times, then fist bump. Add a noise, like a clap or a snap. Add some body movements. Keep adding and practicing until you both have it memorized. Number four, tap the add button. Number five, take a video of you doing your new handshake. Number six, what was your favorite part of creating this handshake? Number seven, tap the green check to add to your journal. So where's the add button? It's right here. Everything, every time they want to add something, it's usually in a green button. Aquí está donde puede agregar todo lo que quiere agregar. Um, una de las respuestas. So once you click on that, you'll come to this screen and we'll give them options. They can take a photo, they can take a drawing, a video, they can upload an image from the computer, from their iPad, they can write a little journal or they can link to an outside source. Uh, pueden tomar foto, pueden dibujar algo, pueden tomar video, pueden subir um, un archivo de su computadora, su iPad, pueden tomar notas o hacer un enlace a otro sitio. So, las instrucciones de esta tarea es usar un video. The video instructions, or the instructions were to take a video. And so, once they click on video, they're going to have options. You see the camera on the sides. La cámara va a estar en los lados. Um, they'll click on that, record their video. So, in this one, it gives them a time to, to record. This one was to record a uh, handshake. So, they'll be doing the different handshakes, the different signs. Um, then they'll click the green button up here, we're done. And it'll go straight to their journal. Y irá a su cuaderno. O well, antes de eso, tienen que, pueden poner aquí una capción o no. Or you could write a caption or not. All I have to do is click the green button. And it's in their journal. It's going to wait for teacher approval. I'm going to review it um, uh, to see if it's appropriate. I'm going to write some comments here and then once i approve it then you'll be able to see it as a parent so primero yo lo tengo que aprobar um voy a poner los comentarios y luego una vez que está aprobado va a estar ustedes lo van a poder ver en su en el cuaderno también um so let me get out of here so eso va a ser CISO. So I want to give you a preview of our menu for next week, basically five days. Um, and really uh, want you to work on iStation, Raz Kids, and Imagine Math. And you can see 
Blue means is English, red is Spanish. Uh, este es el horario para la próxima semana, cinco días, todos los días so, es lo mismo. Um, pero sí quiero que estén en fonética en Ice Station 20 minutos, en Raskets otros 20 minutos y en matemáticas unos 25 minutos. Um, our office hours are going to be from 9 to 1 and 1 to 2. Um, you can also reach me through Seesaw Messenger or through my email, um, considering adding a Zoom option. Um, but I'm still trying to figure out the, the, the ins and outs of that. Uh, nuestra, lo, el horario de la próxima semana de las 9 a las 10, 1 a las 2, voy a estar aquí disponible en CISA o, o por correo electrónico. También estoy pensando en una opción de cara a cara con uh, una, una aplicación que se llama Zoom. Um, le quería también enseñar aquí en este enlace, Kindergarten Activities, va a abrir la, el sitio que había hecho antes, ahora ya cambió un poco uh, lo que está allí, um, pero los enlaces todos, todavía son igual. The, I only changed a few things, but uh, the links are still the same. So when you go to, when you log in as a student into ClassLink, it'll look some, it'll, the screen will look like this, but the main things I want you to look at are iStation and Imagine Math, and I guess Raskids is also there. Um, los tres cosas, las tres aplicaciones van a ser iStation, Imagine Math y Raskids. Cuando abrimos iStation, lo traté de hacer aquí en la casa, tuve que descargar la aplicación. I had to download the application to my computer before I could use it. So you'll probably have to do the same thing. And then I try to open it from there and I just recommend that after you download it to go back here to the class link, to the class link sign on and open it from there again and it'll open it up automatically. So una vez que lo abra, Please select an activity or log out of iStation. Una vez que lo abra va a tener varias opciones, reading in English, which is not where we're at right now. I mean, if you want to do that as a supplement for your child, that's fine. Um, but really in Spanish, uh, we're working in Spanish, so I would like for them to work here in Lectura, ISIP in Espanol. Bienvenidos de nuevo, que te diviertas mucho. Hola, ¿sabes qué juego me vuelve loco? So, if they've already taken, so this is one of the students, so if they've already taken a, a test, at the beginning of each month, it'll give them a test. And so what I'm asking for you to do is uh, just to be with them, to make sure they're not just clicking through the test, but don't really help them with the answers, um, because we don't want them to give like, Start them at a different activity where they're not ready for. Um, so, al principio, cuando comiencen like, uh, este programa, uh, este estudiante ya tomó el examen, pero usualmente al principio del mes le da el examen. So, durante ese periodo, le estoy pidiendo que no les ayude con el examen, pero es que sí esté con ellos uh, para, que nomás, para que no anden nomás tecleando o poniendo cualquier respuesta, uh, porque luego no, no les va a dar las actividades adecuadas. Please select an activity or log out of my station. Podemos ver que también tienen otros um, aplicaciones. No las no la hemos usado, but if, we, if you want to try these out, you can. But really, I'm not focused on that. The only two I'm focused on is lectura and reading. So that's it for the tutorial for now. Um, please email me or message me any questions you may have. It's a soft launch, uh, so don't stress yourself out. Just checking it out to see if it works. Um, and then we'll move forward. Till next time, have a good weekend.